Yes, uh, we will uh, get that back by uh, uh, receiving additional aeroplanes and then going back to the plan we have uh, to expand, uh, which will be very vigorously pursued with additional aeroplanes that we are talking to Airbus uh, to get. I am very happy that there is a, a, a co-chair and a, an alliance being uh, created between Emirates and uh, Qantas. Uh, it is a very wise move from Qantas because I have always been saying that if you cannot defeat somebody, then you should ally with them. And this is exactly what has happened. And I'm delighted that airlines that were considering Gulf carriers as a threat have now started to partner with us, which means that the model we were following for our growth was the correct model. This is why they are now coming to the table to talk to us. I want us uh, invited uh, Emirates. We are invited by one world. Sky team is talking to Etihad. South African <coughs> Airways co-chairing with them. Uh, other airlines approaching us for co chairs is the vindication of what we always thought was the right way for the Western countries and the developing countries' airlines to start partnering with the carriers like Qatar Airways and Emirates and others. I don't know if all the airlines have vision that Qatar Airways has. I don't know all the airlines have the kind of knowledge that Qatar Airways has developed managing an airport. And uh, once we open this airport, I think passengers will want to operate out of our airport. Airlines will want to operate through our airport because this will simply be the best airport in the world. Qatar Airways has put six years of detailed planning in getting an, uh, an airport that is world class and I think it will be very difficult for anybody else to match because it is not always money that does something good. It is always the vision, the perseverance and of course the quality and the standards that goes behind.